I've just heard the most face palmable thing. I'm in my car, and this puppy, it turns out, has a loose connection on the battery. Uh, I know this because it just died a while back, and that killed all the presets on my radio. So I was resetting the radio, and I was going through the AM dial. Um, not that I usually have anything preset on the AM dial, but I thought I'd see what was there. And um, I ran into this, you know, one of those churchy radio stations talking Jesus and the Bible and stuff, uh, out of Blaine, I think. And um, it was very relaxing, that sing-songy uh, preacher voice. And I thought, I'll listen to it, bit of a laugh. And uh, the subject was, it's called the Marriage Supper of the Lamb. And it's Revelations, and what's all this about the Marriage Supper of the Lamb? And um, I was saying that the bride, the bride is the church, and uh, the bride will be taken to uh, the Lamb. The Lamb is, um, is Jesus Christ, of course, um, and the church shall be married to Jesus Christ or some such thing in some way and then they're going to have this huge feast and it's going to last seven days um, but the seven days is not seven days it's actually seven years and it's a time around about um, the tribulation it's uh, where it is the tribulation or something anyway I I don't know exactly and I, I could be getting this horribly wrong but it doesn't matter because you know even if I got it right to what they were saying on the radio there'd be some other Christian saying that's completely wrong anyway so the church is going to marry Jesus and they're going to have this uh, supper which is actually seven years of, of something else um, and then I presume um, Jesus is going to consummate the wedding with the church. I wonder how many of the churchgoers have thought about the implications of that. And then finally, they're doing um, uh, a frequently asked questions thing at the end, an FAQ. And one of the questions was about, about this um, wedding supper, should it be taken metaphorically? And the preacher said, no, we have to take it literally. The, the the lamb is literally Jesus Christ, and the bride is literally the church, and the seven days is literally seven, seven years. I'm thinking, do you have any idea what literally means? He says, you can't read it metaphorically. You just did read it metaphorically. The whole thing was read metaphorically. It's a metaphor all the way through if you're going to read it like that, because otherwise it's about a bride marrying a frickin' lamb. All right? A bride marrying a lamb if you're going to do it literally. God, it's amazing that these people can function at all. They certainly can't think. Anyway, I won't be putting that one in my presets. I've got to try and preserve some sanity.